Greetings one all, how's everyone doing? I hope very well. I'm gonna be uh, doing a little lunch today out here. Decided to eat this Mountain House uh, mac and cheese. I don't know if this is gonna show up, but I wrote the date on this 525.12. I know they have a long, I don't know if the camera's gonna, there we go. So I'm eating this basically because, uh, you know, for purposes of rotation. Because Mountain House mac and cheese is not my favorite. The, the main, my main problem with it is is that the uh, the pasta never really seems to get soft. It's really el dente. And I've told them so on their Facebook page. They're like, I think they asked the question, like, what kind of meals do you want to see? And, and I said, uh, how about good mac and cheese? What I'm going to do with it, I'm going to add a chicken packet. This is a Walmart a premium chicken. You know, it's already cooked, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to get the mountain house going, put it in the water, wait probably half an hour for it to be done. It's a little bit longer, it usually takes 20 minutes, but I'm just going to let it sit for a while. Then I'm going to add that chicken, I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese with uh, black pepper. I had left over from last time. And then I'm gonna eat. And if it's bad, I'll just seal it up and take it home and throw it away. If it's not half bad, I'll just finish it. But for now, I'm gonna get my fire going. I got a stove today, so I'm gonna fix the camera and show it to you. Please excuse the gunfire. Um, the shooting range is literally down the road from us, so you might hear shots in the background. I'm using a third of a zip fire starter. I just cut it with a knife. And over here, well, next to it here, I got some firewood. I don't need, all I just need to do is boil water. I don't need a big, big flame, so. Supposed to be easier to put out, and I hadn't used this uh, stove in quite a while, so I thought I'd use it. Of course, I drastically misjudged how much uh, how big these fuel need to be before they go in there I think that happened last time too I think I had the fuel too big. It's all right. I am not a fuel stove expert. Just a casual user. burn down a bit.
really dig that ceramic pot. It's been uh, been really nice. Really liked it. All right, she's uh, plugging right along. Not much smoke in the face either, which I'm pretty happy about. Getting very close. I like, uh, for Mountain House, I like my fires to be out of whirling boil. I mean, right now it's, it's just starting to bubble, so it's good for tea or hot drinks, but. Almost there. The sun moved right between the trees, so I'm just getting baked in sunshine. Glad it wasn't as hot as it was yesterday. It was like in the 90s, mid-90s yesterday. Whew. Starting to roll, roll. I will uh, zoom out. Seal her up. Nice. Set her right there so it can rehydrate. Now just let the fire go out. I don't need it anymore. Pretty sweet little stove though, really. I really should use it more often. I don't know if you can see it, but you can actually see the uh, flames coming out the holes at the top. Alright, cool. so it's been, uh, well, it's been about 18 minutes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in this chicken. I love that the bases of these are so you can just set it down. Pour in. Want the residual heat of the mac and cheese. Warm that up. Seal that back up for a moment. Come on, bugs. Go ahead and pour in the uh, Parmesan and the pepper. I'll just dump it all in there. A little extra cheesy. Plus, I like pepper, so I like it a lot. Get my spice kit. I probably won't need it since I already pre-seasoned my um, cheese. Here we go, mac and cheese. It's actually not half bad. 
Well, I got to admit, that was actually a better meal than I thought it was going to be. I, I didn't really have high hopes for it, but it ended up actually being pretty tasty. Maybe because I waited the full 20 minutes. Maybe because it was an older one. I don't know, but, uh, you know, I got to say, too, I'm really, I'm really liking this pot the more and more. It's just a, it's literally $5.99 for, I think it's a one liter or two liter it might have sit on the bottom, but it's so scorched. I may just pour some water in there, see how many actually cups it holds, and just do the conversion. But really, really impressed by this. It doesn't weigh very much either. I'll put it on the scale when I get home after I wash the whole bottom out and uh, see what it weighs. But for six bucks, I mean that's that's been pretty pretty solid, and it comes with a lid. And it's not very heavy. Excuse me, not very heavy either. Alright, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna beat it out of here because I'm not where I wanted to be. Uh, I did get a couple things done. I got lunch done and uh, I picked up some trash. You know, it is what it is. As always, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.